first one was submitted um, October 12th. The painful events are still fresh in Terry Creedon's memory. He went into cardiac arrest where he had code blue, and then he was transferred to ICU. Battling cancer, her husband was in the last stages of life. Family and friends gathered at Cape Coral Hospital. Up to 20 people strong, Terry had a loving support circle. We had social workers there that helped a lot, and then they sent us to a quiet room. It's common to have a quiet room set up near the ICU because family members don't want to go far away from their loved one. They could end up spending hours, even the day here. And it's heart-wrenching for a nurse to kind of see how families go through this anticipatory grief of losing a loved one. So you want to help. Sometimes you feel lost, you feel like, uh, I can't do any more for the patient, so what can I do to help the family out make this easier? Out of that sense of caring, the comfort cart was conceived. Food isn't allowed in the ICU per se, and so we wanted to offer something, you know, to the family when they were going through this. We deal with a lot of death and dying in the ICU. Um, and unfortunately, um, our, our families are under a lot of stress. So an assortment of food and drinks, from a comforting cup of coffee to nutritious snacks, are wheeled into the quiet room. Compassion blankets are also waiting there. Handcrafted by parish nurses, they provide a layer of warmth so loved ones can hold vigil. When my family and friends came, we were able to all stay together and not be running around to you know, get those items. Small but loving gestures, giving people strength when it's needed most. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.